everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the crocodile stitch, which is a beautiful crochet stitch. Uh, it has lots of texture, it's quite unique to look at, and it's quite popular in the crochet world. It can be a little bit tricky uh, working this stitch as there is a certain way that you need to turn it. This is what the back looks like, quite unique, and then the front. So we're going to learn how to crochet this stitch today. I'm going to be using a little bit of the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand Yarn. It's a worsted weight 100% cotton as well as a 5 millimeter crochet hook. Today in the tutorial I'm going to be working the stitch in one color. Uh, however, you can also work it in multiple colors as I have done here. So thank you so much for joining me. I'd love to hear what you think about this stitch, if you've used it before and in what kind of project you've used it in. You can let me know down in the comments below. And while you're here, I invite you to take a look around, subscribe. There are many other stitch tutorials on this channel and it's updated weekly with a new one every Sunday morning. Uh, links to both of the items that I'm using, the hook and the yarn, can be found in the description of the video as well as a direct link to the free written pattern which can be found on richtexturescrochet.com. For our stitch today, it's going to be worked in rows and we're going to start by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain needs to be a multiple of six plus four stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 28. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you'll begin row one by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. Your chain three at the beginning does count as a double crochet stitch. Chain two, skip the next two chains and then work two double crochet stitches into the next chain. So two double crochet stitches both into the same chain. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain two, skip two, and work two double crochet stitches into the next stitch. Repeat all the way across to the end of the row. At the end of row one, this is what your work should look like. We're now going to start working some of the dragon or crocodile scales for our crocodile stitch. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to turn your work so that the last double crochet that you worked, which is now the first in this row, is uh, up near the top of your work here. And we're going to work around the post of this double crochet. So what we're going to do is chain three and this chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. Now working around the post of that first double crochet, work four more double crochet stitches. So you're just inserting your hook in the space between those first two stitches and working four double crochets. And there's two, three, and four. Next chain one and turn your work so that this first crocodile stitch is facing downward and you now have the second double crochet that was in that first pair up top. You're now going to work five double crochet stitches around that second double crochet. So insert your hook in between those two stitches again, working five double crochet stitches around the post of that next stitch. Chain two, 
We now have our first crocodile stitch worked and we want to continue to work these down our row. So what you're going to do is chain one and turn your work once again so that the uh, crocodile stitches are up at the top. You're going to skip this next set of double crochet stitches, so skip the next two double crochets, and now work your five, first five double crochet stitches around the post of the next stitch. So simply inserting your hook between those next two stitches, you've skipped one set in between, work five double crochet stitches. chain one, turn your work once again so that your crocodile stitches are now facing down and around the post of the next double crochet stitch which is now up top here work five double crochet stitches. You've now completed two crocodile stitches. You're then going to continue to repeat that all the way across. So chain one, turn your work so that your crocodile stitches are there up the top once again. Skip the next two double crochet stitches and around the first the next double crochet, the first in that next set, work five double crochet stitches. Chain one, turn your work so that your crocodile stitches are now down and work five double crochets around the post of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across this row. I'm now here at the end of my row two. This is my final stitch. Now, if you would like to change colors as I did in the sample that I showed you there at the beginning, this is where you're going to change colors. So I've worked four full double crochet stitches and then I've worked, uh, I'll just pull back a little bit. So I have four double crochets. I'm going to work my fifth double crochet around that post of that stitch yarn over, pull through two, then I'm going to drop that color A. You can then pick up your color B, place it on your hook, and pull through. You can then continue working the next two rows using your color B, and then switch to your next color and so forth, just doing it the same way. Now here in the video, I'm just going to pull back a little bit and I'm going to work it just as a solid color so I don't have a lot of uh, ends kind of hanging around to make it easier to see the stitch. So that brings me to the end of my row two. I'm working it in a solid color. I'll just pull it back here and you can see your crocodile stitches nicely formed there. You're then going to work another set of uh, double crochet stitches. So what we're going to do, just as we did in our first row down below, we want to work it up top here now. So what you're going to begin by doing is chaining three, and this counts as your double crochet stitch, your first one. Your next double crochet stitch is going to be worked into the center of that first crocodile stitch. Chain 
chain two. Now working in between the next two double crochet stitches. So there's two double crochets between your two crocodile stitches and a chain one. Working in between these two stitches, work two more double crochets working over top of this chain one also. So I'm just inserting my hook in between those two stitches over top of that chain one and work two double crochets. Chain two. Next work two double crochet stitches in between or into the center of your next crocodile stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain two, working in between the next two double crochet stitches, which is in between these two scales, and over top of that chain one, work two double crochet stitches. Chain two, and work two double crochets into the center of your next crocodile stitch. Repeat that all the way across. I am here at the end of my row three. Work your final two double crochet stitches into that stitch, into the center of your crocodile stitch. We're now ready to work row four, and row four is going to be another set of our crocodile stitches. What we'd like to do for this row is to stagger these stitches and work them in between the crocodile stitches in the row below. So for row four, chain one, turn your work so that your scales are, are your crocodile stitches are now to the left and you have your double crochet stitches are here easy to see. What you're going to do is skip this first set of two double crochet stitches. Then into the next set of double crochet stitches around the post of that stitch. So this is the third double crochet stitch in that row. Work five double crochet stitches. Chain one and turn your work so that scale is now down at the bottom. And then work five double crochet stitches around the post of the next stitch. And that's your first crocodile stitch of this row complete. Chain one, turn your work again so that that stitch is up near the top. And you should see that it's laying in between the two on the row below. You're going to skip the next set of double crochet stitches and then work your five double crochets down into around the post of the first uh, double crochet in the next set. So you're skipping two and then working your five double crochets around the post of the next stitch. Chain one, turn your work so that your scales or your stitches are down at the bottom and then work five more around the post of the next stitch. Continue to repeat that all the way across until you have one set of double crochet stitches remaining. 
at the end of your row four. This is what your work should look like. You have one set of double crochet stitches down here at the end, which was a chain three and a double crochet stitch. Once you've worked that final crocodile stitch, just slip stitch into the center of those two stitches. You can then turn your work and you're now going to repeat those two rows for the length of your pattern. So that next row is the double crochet stitches, chain three, work another double crochet stitch in between those two stitches, chain two, into the center of your next uh, crocodile stitch, work two double crochet stitches, chain two, into the center of the next two double crochet stitches and working over top of that chain one, work two double crochet stitches, chain two, and repeat that all the way across. Once you come all the way across, you're going to repeat your crocodile stitch row. This time, again, you want to stagger them so you're going to work that first crocodile stitch around the first set of double crochet stitches. And I'm almost all the way across here, so I'll just show you once again, once I come across. I'm marking my double crochets, chain two. When you come across, after you work into the center of that last crocodile stitch, you still have two more double crochets here at the end. Don't forget to work into those double crochets. Chain three. And as I mentioned, you're going to want to work this first crocodile stitch around this first set of double crochet stitches. And that's all there is to working this extremely unique and fun crocodile stitch. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again I'd love to hear how you'd use this stitch in a project. You can let me know down in the comments below. If you make a project using this stitch be sure to tag Rich Textures Crochet on social media so that I can admire it. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.